name is Sarah Longson and I'm a wildlife biologist with the Alaska Department of Fish and Game. We've been out catching short yearlings. Those are moose that are about to turn one year old in May. And we're catching them for two purposes. We're putting radio collars on them and we're also weighing them. The purpose of radio collaring them is it helps us track them throughout their lives. We have a known age on these moose as they go into adulthood. We're also getting weights on them, which is a really good indicator of habitat quality in the area and the body condition of the animals themselves. So it's a pretty good way for us to get an idea of what shape the short yearlings are at this point in the winter. When they're older, we can radio track them in the spring. This is when they're having calves and we can also check on their twinning rates with this. The twinning rate is the percentage of cows giving birth that have twins, which is also a really good indicator of habitat quality and nutritional status. We use small fixed wing aircraft to determine cow-calf pairs from the air and the location is then radioed to the R-44 helicopter crew, which are the team involved in doing the captures. We then go fly in close to determine if it is a female or a male short yearling. In these captures, we only want to catch female short yearling moose. On some projects, short yearling bulls are also captured. Once we have determined that the short yearling is a female, we will then dart it from the helicopter to anesthetize it so that we could work it up. We'll land the aircraft and using a tripod and a, and a weight tart and a big scale, we weigh the animal, we'll lower it back down to the ground and place a radio collar on the animal. Once the animal has been successfully weighed and radio collared, we then reverse the anesthetic agents with two intramuscular injections that only take a couple minutes to reverse the effects of the anesthetic. The moose then stands up, reunites with its mom, and goes on its way. We typically do short yearling captures the end of March, and we do these in areas all throughout the state so we can get a good indication on how short yearlings are doing across the landscape. 